I was a um, student at Columbia Journalism School in New York City in 1994, the fall of 1994, and um, got a call that I assumed was a prank call from somebody identifying himself as Bill Koch <laughs> and um, saying that he was putting together a women's team and he'd like to invite me to be part of it. I in 1992, Bill Koch won the America's Cup. The self-proclaimed hick from Kansas and nerd from MIT decided to take his knowledge, wealth, and experience and create a team of women for the 1995 America's Cup. What we plan to do this time is to put together a team of all females. And we think that with the right focus, attitude, dedication, fast boats, and infrastructure, they can not only compete with the very best in the world and in man's sport, but also win. The goal of his creation was to prove that science, teamwork, good attitude, and good management is what it takes to win. The team he built was in no way ever done before. The women came from all walks of life. Most of them had zero experience being on a boat. I, I didn't know anything about sailing. No, wow. nothing. Wow. Yeah, in fact, you know, in a rowing boat, like, you, you row backwards. And so, um, yeah, even thinking about port and starboard was confusing. I was After finally becoming accustomed to the boat they were to use, the women realized at that point how much bigger this was than just any other set of sailboat races. We definitely felt like this was much bigger than, you know, just a sailing event and just the America's Cup, that, you know, we were role models for other girls. You know, the minute that the team was formed and, you know, all the letters and the people, the, the young women and the older women, all the fans were just so moving you know i can still like kind of get worked up remembering some of the, the women who would look at us and just say you know you you've made me see possibilities in myself and my life that i never never knew existed in their first race the america cubed women stunned the sailing world by defeating four-time america's cup winner dennis connor i thought that i should um, make sure i lost the first uh, race ever to the women's america's cup team kind of as the certainly the first uh, American skipper ever to do. However, there seemed to be a problem on the team. The biggest flaw was leadership. They didn't want to take leadership from one of their own. That's, that, that there, there may have been on our team, I think there was probably some, there, there probably needed to be a little bit more trust in, in one another as leaders. Mm -hmm. And, and that's just, um, you know, it just doesn't exist in every every group of women. It's something that women are, are still gaining and learning how to do. So. From the difficulties in finding a leader, a change had to be made. A change that would send waves through the team. Koch made the decision to remove his female tactician and replaced her with David Dellenbaugh, his tactician from the 1992 championship team. As I was heading off for the morning run, I got a tap on the shoulder from Bill Koch. He said that after a lot of soul searching, um, he decided to take me off the, the race boat and replace me with um, my coach, Dave Dellenbaugh. Everybody just really wanted to win. Whether whether we all supported it in our hearts or not, I think we, we tried to rally behind that decision. Yeah. We were disappointed. We were really disappointed. On the other hand, I think we all felt like we were far more successful. When the team was first announced, there was a whole lot of skepticism about whether we would even be able to get the boat around the race course. The odds were really against us, and I think given the odds, we did incredibly well. Before the women's team, women would always say, oh, I wish I could. And after, they were saying, I am doing 